Yeah. I wanted to know what Halo fans were smoking lately to actually affirm um, stuff about materials on Halo C, the original ones. Um, I'm going to tell you something. I was uh, at least for 17 years ago. 17 years? Yes, almost 17 years ago because it was. When the first time I was able to play Halo was in the Halo Trial, first things I was able to do when I get the computer, but very soon after, what I was actually getting into was into editing um, Halo through actually the uh, modding tools back then with Halo C or Halo Custom Edition back then. And something what I was very much, this game taught me is how material properties works in video games, right? So material properties are uh, how, how certain surfaces react with the environment. In this case, rocks, sand, flesh, metal, and armor have a specific properties. And one of the thing, first things I started to learn when I actually was able to understand how video game graphics is, back then, metalness didn't exist like today PBR materials are. So with this limitation, Many of the surfaces were supposed to be shiny, what they have in common was something called cube maps. Things like All Souls games has, Halo has them, um, even the gun, the Magnum has a cube map, what was basically just a projection of how this war was. This was a cube map is, and turns out, what I very perfectly remember, the metal structures of this thing has, has a cube map, as you can see there. That is the shell of the ring. And I don't know just that by looking at this property, but I perfectly remember it when I did it in the game and I started to extract cube maps for some stuff. For example, swapping the armor cube maps from the elites and putting it to Master Chief because I really like how Master Chief looked with uh, golden armor. Um, and stuff like that, this panels over here and all over the structures of the forerunners uh, buildings were metallic. I don't remember the specific name of the objects that used to be in Halo uh, or this kind, of, uh, this kind of textures, what name they used to be, but I always see them as they were referred as a metallic thing. And to confirm that, you can actually see the metal properties of this thing has, not just the cube map, but also the bullet holes has metallic in prints, what you can, you don't see them in other surfaces later in the war book. But another thing is the, the spark particles are completely different. The muscle flash of each impact are actually belongs to the same explosive particle sprite they use for all metallic elements in the video game. And another thing you can actually uh, confirm that is in the sound when you melee damage people. So in the, in the rocks, they do that. They absorb most of the sound, so basically you are like just hearing the noise of the gun hitting the stuff. But then, if you go to metallic surfaces, it's the same noise they do when you get a warhog or anything metallic in the environment. So this has a cube map. This sounds like a. Uh, this has a metallic cube map. Same as the Warhog and same as the Windshield. In fact, I guess it shares the exact same cube map as the Windshield of the Warhog. Uh, and you can see them all over the surface of this thing. What actually has different, very different from the what they show in the Halo uh, uh, campaign evolved is they don't have the amount of wear and tear they have it, but this structure is not by any means something like a concrete or a very unknown-ish property metallic thing. This is pure metallic structure. Sounds like metal, comports like metal, has a cube map like a metal, and and now the detail I just noticed it is has all the wear and tear made by the tides of the sea actually reaching a, same, a certain point. I have all that very nice detail over here. But all of this thing is actually metallic. And this is not different from any other building, at least in the rings and the installation for what, whatever, Halo 1 occurs. But you can see there, there's, there's the cube map reflection very clearly there. It's very subtle, but it's still there. 
and actually uh, contrast with the kind of roughness you can have. So metal elements can have very different roughness. And roughness in a video game is how shiny something else. And you can be very rough road and still be a metal but have no opacity all, at all. Um, but in this case you have a, a very subtle roughness and everything here has a shiny cube map around it you can see it very clearly here so you have some some some, some mask here with actually some uh, the wear and tear about the environment right but all of this is metallic sounds metallic sounds. you hear all around this is metallic all the structure it's pretty much metallic, has metal shininess, has metal properties, sounds like a metal, and bones of bullets like a metal. Has even the, the metallic bullet hole here. So there is no clue, there's no sign anywhere around this is entire structure which tells you, hey, this is concrete, hey, this is an old material, hey, this is something else but it's not metallic because otherwise you cannot justify the circuit or lighting what you have all over here and everything is reacting to be metallic this is not concrete this is doesn't sound concrete doesn't look concrete doesn't behave like a concrete this is metal all of this is metal here sounds different because i am stepping in a more hollow metal because there's like a grid here you can actually see there's something underneath of this and the devs very likely want to portray hey this is like a not a fence but a ladder sound or one of these very thin metal sounds and this is very way more solid but everything else is telling you this is metallic so better not make a weird argument about how halo has a very specific artistic choice or halo has a very specific um, art style because the devs intended it that way when no all of that artistic quote unquote art style came from the limitations of the console and shows by that because I can see by every single texture variant you have here and all the metallic properties you have um, this is a mirror by the way they try as much as they can to be as realistic and convincing possible that the technology back then we didn't have a uh, we didn't have anything dynamic. The only dynamic thing about reflections were the curve maps. What was fixing in a position, um, whatever you rotate the model, they will project um, image around that model. Um, this, for example, is used in the Master Chief Visor. And this one is the actual armor curve map. Doesn't have anything at all. Um, that give it this very characteristic look, but at the same time, you cannot replicate that with the current technology because, uh, I mean, you can do it again, but will not look good, good. So you need to do a lot of other tricks to make it convincing like they were back then. This, for example, this is the texture to use for detailing because the texture on the models were 50, uh, 511 by 511. That is the maximum texture size of the wall armor of Master Chief. And to give it the tiny details around the armor, to use this texture in particular, just to mask it on top of that and give, make it more, make it look more grainy and more realistic. And that is the, the technology of Avid back then. We didn't have a um, complex normal map, we didn't have roughness map, we didn't have any of that. We just have uh, diffuse normals, uh, detailed maps, and at much a uh, cube map. And maybe an alpha here and there. Uh, you see, this like multiple balls. Yes, this is the, the the green channel of this armor was the uh, emission, and the blue channel was the refraction. That is why it looks green and blue here and there. That was the that was the limitation back then. And um, if I has to go back to the metallic things, you see all oh, everything called metal is ironically all the forerunner is, uh, structure over here and there. Even they have different states for interior and exterior. So there is like, some wear and tear, but it's not that much, neither. It's just uh it's just weightering, normal weightering. 
but that doesn't deny the reflectiveness of the actual metal when you fucking put the sun on it, like you see in the remake of the game. But this is, you see, the, there's basically no details on this texture. So this is supposed to be this one, but this is just the same texture, but without any wear and tear, and it's 100% mirror-like reflection. Back then, they didn't have a way to combine that reflection without looking ugly with a giant cube map, but look good in a in a in a lead armor because they're constantly moving, they're constantly in motion, and the texture has a lot of details of the armor of the elite itself, so they can mask the entire movement of the of the lead. But we will look very ugly in a fixed building. So they really did that for this thing in particular because wasn't able to do something reflective because reflection didn't exist back then. All this of nostalgia making making believe this thing was concrete is just a flaw of the limitations of today. The, the devs wanted to make this thing metallic and shiny. <laughs> 